I've never been able to pinpoint what exactly uh, my music falls under, what, it, what genre I would give it. Um, during the sessions uh, of this, uh, this record, uh, there was a joke thrown around that it's uh, angry uh, folk or uh, hardcore folk maybe. Um, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. I write about absurdities, I write about realities, abstract things. Uh, something as simple as a, a news article might inspire a song or, you know, the, the most minute experience in life. Contemplations have a lot to do with that. Um, so yeah, just, just about everything pulls at me and anything could potentially turn into a, into a possible subject for a work of art. It wasn't meant to be a record at the point when I started writing these songs. Uh, these are songs that have uh, come together from a scattered, uh, um, a scattering of, uh, of different songs. So, so some of these songs are actually older than, than some of the other ones. Um, and so it, it's more a collective of the ideas and the emotions and the thoughts that I've had for, for the past couple of years than really a cohesive uh, piece of art that I, that I put together uh, in, in that time span. The whole purpose of this record has been to break away from um, a type of fear as an artist that I've always had. Uh, where I've uh, released uh, many things to the public via websites such as MySpace and Facebook and Pure Volume and YouTube, but I've never released anything concrete, anything that I that I've been able to uh, say to the public here. This this is what 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 I am. This is what my art is. This is who I who I uh, choose to be as a person and as an artist. And the reason behind that has always been uh, the fear of uh, what the critics might say. And it's always been this, this fear that it, it wouldn't be good enough for the critical mind, for uh, the audiophile, um, and that it would be ridiculed by the casual listener. And really the end, that's the end of the era. It's the end of the era of fear. And even within the production of, of the record, it's been a struggle to break free from from that fear, from that uh, that reserved state of mind that I've been in. How hard could this be? If only I could break in three. I don't have the will to start. It's what she said to me. I think, as in a subconscious way, I picked these songs out of a pool of uh, many different songs because they told the story in, in the most. Uh, definitive way but also the most ambiguous way uh, so that the, the songs could, could be anything to anyone um, they can almost have the, the, a meaning based solely on the reaction of the audience I've never been too interested in, in creating works that are uh, directly linked to any one thing. I've been more interested in exploring the universal and exploring uh, vagueness and using art as a method of exploring the self. The advantages of uh, recording in my own home uh, 
um, are, are similar to, uh, to to being on, 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 on a sports team and playing uh, in your own stadium. It, it's uh, it's familiar. It's uh, it's safe. It's inviting. Um, it's completely at your disposal. You're allowed to manipulate as you like, and so. Um, in that sense, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a much more a warm environment in which to create. Um, it's, a, it's a lot less uh, restrictive in, in some aspects. And uh, it's less, uh, it's less uh, anxiety producing because you are within, within the confines of, of, of the place you've made your home. Um, that being said, a, a home isn't designed to be a recording studio and so the disadvantages of uh, recording in a home uh, are, are, are many. Um, you, you can't control the outside world and your walls aren't always uh, completely soundproof. And so I had to do a, a lot of work in order to uh, try to create the environment that would allow me to record in peace. I work with the, with the bare essentials really when it comes to recording. Um, my studio, if you could call it that, is in a lot of ways uh, laughable compared to uh, legitimate studios and, and even the home studios of, of uh, some of my uh, contemporaries and colleagues and so I, I use I use uh, very little equipment and uh, <laughs> very humble equipment in a lot of ways and it's taken me taken me years I've, I've been collecting equipment since I was maybe 13 uh, and every time I get a job uh, that money eventually finds its way to more equipment. I definitely think that, that the limitations of, uh, of my gear has definitely pushed me to, to, to critically think about the ways in which I, I would produce a record and uh, definitely in the ways that, that, that I write music. Um, there's definitely a lot of limitation there. Um, one of the things about Eternal January Days is that it was meant to be um, a musical project that, that encompassed um, a variety of different styles uh, and different instrumentation. Uh, everything from what you would consider the, the full rock band, drums, bass, guitar, maybe a little piano, voice, and, and the like. Uh, to things like like the end of an era, which which are mainly acoustic. I don't know that I necessarily expect the end of an era to say much um, about me in terms of uh, understanding myself as a person. Uh, Maybe understanding myself as an artist, um, it, it serves the purpose of, uh, of explaining uh, the way in which I, I, uh, I seek to purge myself of, of negative energies and, 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 and trauma. Um, it def it's, it's definitely more of a cathartic piece than anything. And um, in the end, really, its main goal in being presented to the world is, uh, in a very strange way, a message of hope. The fact that I'm able to speak uh, about this record after the production of the record uh, speaks volumes of what it means to, to go through these uh, traumatic episodes in a person's life, it, it, it implies 
without ever stating that, that there is a tomorrow after, after the trauma, that there is life yet to be lived after the event. And it's something that I don't think many artists address, um, especially many contemporary artists don't, don't address. Uh, people who release incredibly dark albums and uh, without, without uh, intending to, uh, to insult anyone, they prolong the facade of, of, a, of a dystopia, of a, uh, of a darkness that, that, that lingers. And it really doesn't linger if you're, you're able to function past the point that you're attempting to explain and explore. And so I think uh, what I want it to mean to people, if it's to mean anything, is that the, there's, uh, there's hurdles in life. And they can be quite devastating, but there definitely is a way to get um, onto the next day and, and around these traumas. been part of my life and I don't intend on not playing music ever. Yeah.